some modems on. I'll just do that side, sure. There we go, those two. Okay. So now I can actually start the GPS program on these two. So we gotta get our coordinates, which, uh, hold on one second, I need somewhere to note this down. Okay. So, that's hard to read. There we go. Okay, so my, we got 252, uh, 69, oh, 68, because I want the one below my feet, 233. All right. Perfect. So then we come in here and I think I can do this, say shell run GPS host two fifty two sixty eight two thirty three and that'll take care of it, right? Serving GP. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, I automatically found the modem. Two fifty two sixty eight two thirty three. Perfect. And yeah, so that's all it takes. So now I see I got that in the startup. So all I got to do is get this guy up, up into the sky. And the same here with this one. Edit startup. Oh, except I got to label them, of course. Uh, shell run. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Oops. So one, two. This is three higher. So shell run GPS host 252. Uh, 71, 233. And label set GP, GPS. Um, I'll just call that one because he's gonna be top. I mean, it doesn't—it doesn't actually matter what orientate where you know what where these are in relation to each other. Just any GPS hosts, because when, like, when I even use like the GPS locate function. Um, so then we just reboot. Yeah, perfect. And this one, I gotta terminate. Label set GPS two reboot. Great. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so and also <laughs> when so I'll have to have a yeah, I have to have a turtle to Okay, that's enough smooth stone for now. I can have it smell my other stuff. So when I'm gonna to have to write a program to to take these computers up into the sky, place them in the correct orientation, attach modems to them, and boot them up. Now I think. I am not going to try to do that all at the same time. What I'm going to instead do is just write I mean, like a very, very simple, oh, I've got a friend, program. Oh, got me. Uh, simple program, you know, just a one-time use script. They'll just be like, okay, go up until you hit the sky. Then come down one square, place a computer, you know, move. Whatever, I'll just say move forward, whichever. You know, put, put the modem above it and move back. Grab the computer as a peripheral, turn it on, 
and because I set the startup script to run the GPS, it'll automatically become a GPS host. Now, it should save the state that these computers are on, and they should come back on whenever I come back to this world, then. That's, that's the hope. <laughs> and that I don't have to, like, send a turtle up into the sky every single time um, I, you know, have a I have to like rest, you know, restart my client just to turn on the, the GPS network. So 5268, and this will be 239. 239. Hmm. Run GPS host two fifty two sixty eight two thirty nine save exit reboot serving GPS requests and let's come on. Oh, lapis I got excited for half a second coal you can keep it and a bunch more cobble. I'm almost gonna have to edit Sidekick here to just backfill the entire column with cobble as he goes because I don't really want much more. Um, I guess I'll have to just start doing some much bigger <laughs> projects with uh, Turtles building. So yeah, we're still on the quest for Diamond. But that's all right, we've almost got the GPS network working here. This is... This is good news. All right, so 233, and instead of that, 233, it's 246 instead of 252, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So take away 246. Okay, here, this this will be easier. <laughs> no creepers, please. Two forty six sixty eight. I'm gonna have to modify all of these. Hmm. Um. And especially have to figure out two thirty three. Um. I don't actually remember offhand what the exact top of the world is. Is it two fifty five? Is it 256? All right, well, there we go. We have a GPS network. So now, if I take, um, and, and those like real world coordinates there. So if I take uh, and go, let me see, anybody out there? Just pigs. That's fine, I can deal with pigs. Um, oh, I got some bones, that's nice. Uh, so let me take the older buddy just because he's the turtle I have on hand and pop him down. And then we go into Lua. I can do GPS locate. And it's good to provide a timeout parameter here. It's not required, I do believe, but uh, just in it timed out. That's not good. I would think that that would happen a lot faster. Yes, locate 10. That should... Huh, what, what is going on? Do you guys like spit out messaging or anything? No, nothing. Okay, let me try this non-Lua.
There, that worked fine. Okay, I must be doing something wrong. <laughs> Uh, yeah, automatically. Oh, pfft. no, that modem active. Okay, that's duh. I gotta open the modem first. That makes sense. Okay, so yeah, there you go. You can actually see. Huh, it only took three of them. But that's that's all I need. So, okay. Hmm, I thought you had to have four computers. Interesting. I mean, it does. It makes sense that that you, you know, mathematically you only need three, and they just have to each be. You know, you have to have differences on x, both the x and the y axes, and then, or you know, x, z, and y axes, and so like really, this computer right here is is extra. You wouldn't mathematically need that to triangulate position. So, and it didn't doesn't seem to have used that one. Or, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. So, it got a position. It got, you know, an, an absolute position because I provided the absolute coordinates. I could provide whatever coordinates I liked, actually, and everybody would just be using those coordinates. But it makes a lot of sense, obviously, to uh, to use the the real world coordinates because <laughs> then you can actually refer to something to find out what coordinates are. Okay, so it works. I yeah, I just forgot to. Uh, so I do Lua, um, Rednet, open, write. I gotta do it that way, and then GPS, cake. Yeah, piece of cake. That's. I just forgot to open up the modem first. Of course, I I'm used to assuming that that's already done in programs because. I so automatically just type it at the top. So cool. We have GPS. We have working GPS. It's just uh, we just need a launch vehicle. <laughs> if any of you've been watching my uh, Kerbal Space Program Let's Play, that's that's this is probably a familiar feeling. <laughs> now I need to launch the satellite. Um, now, so actually, Builder Buddy, come back here. You have just been drafted into the uh, Computer Craft Challenge Space Program. Uh, and your your mi first mission, whether or not you care or choose to de decline or accept, I don't I don't even care. Your first mission, regardless of how you feel about it, is to launch my GPS network. So I'm gonna do these one at a time, and I think what I need to do first is make use of this existing ground GPS network to find out how high up in the air you can place something. Because... Uh, what am I doing? I got plenty... Burning zombie coming to visit. How nice. Let's just let this play out. There we go. And some experience. Great. Like, I'm gonna use that. Um... Oh my god, I got some some ore. Yeah. And some lapis. Ooh. That's oh I've gotten lapis before. It's not even not even exciting. What am I talking about? Uh I should mm hmm Bones don't need. Alright. Okay, no visitors. Alright, so here you go. Give me that slot. So what I'm going to do, edit sky test, because um, I, I want, I don't want to be spending time like, you know, looking up on wikis and whatnot. So all I do got to do is say, um, still doing these, those creeper checks. <laughs> so first of all, while turtle dot up do end. All right, so that 
should take him to the top boundary and then the end of the program while turtle dot down do end real easy get him up to the sky limit back down to the ground uh, now within here so he's hit the sky limit so then while not turtle dot place up do and turtle that down so then once he's able to place it'll jump out of there so then we print um placed from gps locate And that's all I should need. Um, yep. There you are. Code speed, builder buddy. What have you been smelting? Lots of iron. Whew. And yeah, that's, that's about all of it now. All right, cool. Lots of iron. I should really build an advanced computer one of these days. Oh. Boy, oh, he disappeared for a sec there. So he's going to go up to the top. And he's going to put a block up there. I should have had him grab it again, but that's okay. He's disappeared. <laughs> disappeared into outer space. Oh, is sidekick back? Oh, yeah, he had, he had an error from that. Still no diamonds. Ugh, so painful. Lots of coal. That's lovely. Um, and for now, I won't have you go any farther that way. Doot, doot. I assume that's Builder coming back down. Snow bugs me. <laughs> Don't tell me I made a mistake in that program. After setting somebody else there up there to get him. <laughs> Sidekick, how are you feeling? <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous.